you ran in 2010 talking about getting rid of the income tax. Mm -hmm. Everyone laughed. Um, you're close to that point. Well, I think we have a long way to go, and we can only take measured jumps on that. And there's a couple things in our tax plan. One is you want to help small businesses because they're the glue, the pizza shop, the florist, the candy shop, the barber. We want them to be strengthened. And we also know that if you want to start a small business, move to Ohio. I want more young people to think about being entrepreneurs in Ohio. Um, and they're also the ones that you know, are most likely to do the hiring. So we want to strengthen them. We want to give incentives to the working poor so that they continue to work and don't go backwards. And then finally, lowering the rates is designed to do this. A lot of CEOs say they don't think it matters until they retire, and then they all move to Florida. <laughs> The sales tax. I mean, I've seen the studies that say the states with an income tax reliance have a lower growth rate than the ones that have a consumption-based tax. So I get that. But living in Cuyahoga County, I'm going to be looking at my receipt and seeing 8.5%. Would we have been better off reducing the sales tax and maybe expanding the base to include many of those goods and services? That well, that's, that's an interesting way to look at it. Um, look, whenever you put a tax plan out there, because the suggestion you just made, not a bad suggestion. This is, I didn't get this tax plan on, on the mountain and come down with stone tablets. I mean, if somebody wants to change it and improve it, I'm all for that. But what I don't want them to do is to say, well, let me tell you what tax reform means to me. It means I pay less. I mean, that's the problem we have with the country. It's special interest groups change, you know, they go and they fight everything um, and say, oh, you know, get somebody else. I want us to think as a state, what in the long run is going to allow our population to grow faster, which it's not. What, it, what is it that we can have in our state that gets young people to stay here and young people to come here? And frankly, it's an exciting economy. And when you raise, when you are involved in taxes designed to support a level of government, then the question is, what is the best way to raise that revenue that has the least negative impact on jobs? And so I believe that a tax system that encourages investment, risk-taking, job creation is better than one that, that encourages consumption. But if there's a better way to do this on the consumption side, you know, I'm open to it. I just don't want to lose the benefits of what we're proposing. We've talked in the past.